Hello friend, in this video lecture, we will discuss about the MCQ of unit number 1, rank of the matrix. The first MCQ on the basic part of mathematics. See, if A is a square matrix of order 3, then cofactor of a13 is equal to the so first we must know the definition of cofactor of an element of matrix which is obtained by the formula minus 1 raised to i plus j into capital m i j where m i j is minor of the element of matrix which is obtained by deleting row and column intersect by that element okay also here, if the i plus j is the sum is E1, then here simply write m i j, capital M i j. If this sum is odd, then multiplied here minus sign. Then minus sign is as, as it is there. Okay, then answer is here, capital A13 is equal to the sum is E1. Okay, then capital M into suffix 1, See, this is the answer. Now, second question is parallel to same. See, the cofactor of A23. See, the addition is odd. 2 plus 3 is 5. Addition is odd. Then the answer is capital A23 is equal to is equal to minus time M23. Okay. Now, next. If A is a square matrix of order N, then A into adjoint of A. So this is the theorem. Is determinant into identity matrix. Okay. Hmm. Now the question on the same previous theorem. If A is a square matrix of order N, then what is the adjoint of A? See here. Adjoint of A. If you consider first and last equation, then adjoint of A is A inverse into determinant. And if you consider the second and last, then adjoint of A is here determinant A into A inverse. Okay. If you consider the first, then inverse is multiplied here. Okay. Determinant A into A inverse. Now next. If A and B are singular matrix, then of order same, then adjoint of A into B, adjoint of A into B is adjoint of B into adjoint of A. See, we have the theorem. Adjoint of if A and B are non-singular matrix of same order, okay, then adjoint of A into B is adjoint of B into adjoint of A. Now point number first is here, if A and B are non-singular matrix of same order, then their product is non-singular. Second point is reversal law for the inverse of product. AB inverse is same as B inverse into A inverse. Okay, so answer is adjoint of B into adjoint of A. If A is a square matrix of order N, then adjoint into adjoint of A is equal to is equal to determinant raised to n minus 2 into A. So this is the theorem. If A is a non-singular matrix of order n, okay, then the point number 3, adjoint into adjoint of A is equal to determinant raised to n minus 2 into A. And remember this uh, two point also. K is non-zero scalar raised to minus 1, then is equal to 1 upon K A, A inverse. And the determinant of A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant. Okay. A and B are non-singular matrices of the same order. Then AB raised to minus 1. So here we apply the reversal law for the product of two matrix having the same order is B inverse into A inverse. B inverse into inverse. 
let a be a square matrix of order n and if there exists matrix b such that such that ab is equal to ba is equal to i then then we have the four option then b is a inverse of a is a correct option okay if a is a non singular matrix then a inverse is equal to we have seen the theorem a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant into adjoint of a that is answer is C. okay if a is a non singular matrix then determinant of a inverse we have just seen is 1 upon determinant 1 upon determinant now if a is a given matrix having a first row is 2 minus 3 second row is 1 5 then a inverse is equal to what see we know the formula a inverse is equal to a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant into adjoint of a okay so first we check the determinant the determinant of this matrix is determinant of a is a uh, 5 into 2 10 and 3 minus minus plus 10 plus 3 that is 13 okay that is 1 upon 13 now adjoint of a adjoint of a means first we uh, find the cofactor matrix now the uh, cofactor of the 2 is is 5 is 5 now here 1 see the uh, the position is a11 a12 a21 a22 so here the keep the sign as it is positive and here sign is negative similarly here sign is negative the cofactor of this one is uh, is minus 3 and multiplied by minus sign Then minus minus plus and the cofactor of this element is two. Okay, so this is the cofactor matrix, hmm? and it's transpose. Then adjoint of A is it's transpose that is five minus one, three, and two. Okay, that is five three minus one and two. Okay, otherwise just remember. instead of this uh, calculation you change this element change the diagonal element see here change the diagonal element and here multiplied by minus sign then it become plus and it become minus okay changing this element instead of 2 write 5 instead of 5 write 2 okay that is the first change and second is multiplied here minus sign okay in this way you can you will get easily the determinant uh, inverse of 2 by 2 matrix now second see first we find out the determinant so that we get the uh, we get easily answer the determinant of this matrix is see this is the minus 6 and the minus 4 minus 10 okay that is minus 1 upon 10 now change this element Minus two and three and multiplied by minus sign minus one minus four. Okay, so B is a correct answer. No next. If A is a square matrix of order three and the determinant of A is four, then A into adjoint of A is what? So we just see the uh, theorem. A into adjoint of A, adjoint of A. Is equal to determinant into identity matrix. So determinant is given. That is the four into identity matrix. See the left hand side is matrix. That's why we can't write simply four. So four into ad identity matrix. The correct answer is four i. Now next, if A is a square matrix of order five, and determinant of A is two, then determinant of adjoint of A. we know the theorem if a is a square matrix a is a square matrix then adjoint of a 
suppose uh, order of a is n hmm, order of a is n then the determinant of adjoint of a is a determinant raised to n minus 1 okay now see here the order of matrix is 5 and the determinant of a determinant of a is 2 and order of matrix is 5 5 minus 1 That is two raised to four, and two raised to four is sixteen. The correct answer is sixteen. Now next, if A is a singular matrix, singular matrix, then A into adjoint of A. Okay. See, we just uh, see the de definition. Adjoint of A is. Hmm? So here, the clearly the answer is what. We know the adjoint of A. adjoint of a is determinant raised to n minus 1 if determinant is 0 okay then 0 into a is definitely 0 that is a into a into adjoint of a determinant of adjoint of a is 0 this is capital now next now see here the uh, topic is change here that is uh, related to home, uh, system of linear equation so before proceed this topic first we discuss the some basic point which are very helpful for solving the mcq of homogeneous and non homogeneous see we have the system ax is equal to b there are two system ax is equal to b If B is zero, B is zero means null matrix. B is a null matrix. Then this system is called as a homogeneous system. Homogeneous system. If B is a non-zero matrix, then which is non-homogeneous system. Non-homogeneous system. Okay. Now this system, this system. Uh, For solving this system, we consider the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means A colon B. If if rank of augmented matrix is same as rank of coefficient matrix, then system has a solution. System has solution is called as a consistent. And if rank of augmented matrix is not is equal to rank of coefficient matrix, then system has no solution. We call as a inconsistent. Inconsistent. Okay, and this is consistent. Now here there are two type again, unique solution and infinite number of solution. If rank of augmented matrix is same as rank of coefficient matrix is same as number of unknowns ya yeah, number of variable then it has a unique solution okay and when infinite solution is exists rank of a augmented matrix is same as rank of coefficient matrix is strictly less than number of variable it has infinite number of solution exists okay so this is about the non homogeneous system homogeneous system is always consistent it has always solution okay here rank of a colon b is always same rank of a b is zero matrix b is null matrix so here two type of solution set is exists it has the name trivial and non trivial 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 means as like unique and non trivial non trivial trivial means zero solution when zero solution is exists if rank of augmented matrix is same as rank of a is equal to number of variable then it has a zero solution means trivial solution and if rank of augmented matrix is same as rank of a is strictly less than number of variable number of unknowns then it has non trivial solution okay also here if if uh if a is a square matrix a is a square matrix ax 
is equal to b ax ek minute if a is a square matrix we discuss in this case ax is equal to b a is a square matrix of order n and number of unknown also n then x is obtained by we multiplied here a inverse a inverse into capital b okay in this way we find out the solution set using matrix inversion method that time a should be a square matrix means num uh, if order of a is n then unknown also n that time we calculate the x okay now let us discuss the mcq on this system of linear equation ma see ax is equal to b is said to be homogeneous when b is a null matrix b is null matrix now next a system of linear equation ax is equal to b is said to be non homogeneous if b is non zero matrix b is non zero matrix now third a system of linear equation ax is equal to b is said to be consistent if system has solution okay a system of linear equation ax is equal to b is said to be inconsistent inconsistent if system has no solution a system of linear equation ax is equal to b is said to be consistent it has hmm, now here when rank of augmented matrix is same as rank of coefficient matrix we just discuss a system of linear equation ax is equal to b is said to be inconsistent if rank of coefficient matrix is not is equal to augmented matrix a system of linear equation ax is equal to b of n unknowns such a that rank of a is same as rank of augmented matrix is equal to n then system has unique solution system has unique solution same question the system has a solution and strictly less than n strictly less than unknowns then it has infinite number of solution a non homogeneous system of three linear equation in three unknowns means there exists square matrix and number of variable 3 okay it has unique solution when determinant is non zero determinant is non zero okay a homogeneous system of linear equation in three unknowns has a trivial solution if determinant is non zero trivial solution means what zero solution a non homogeneous system of three linear equation in three unknowns has a infinite number of solution if determinant is zero a homogeneous system of three linear equation in three unknowns has non trivial solution if determinant is zero non trivial means as like uh, infinite number of solution if a is a non singular matrix then the solution of the system of linear equation okay is given by x is equal to a inverse b multiplied here a inverse thank you